What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you how to change the boot logo on iOS 11 through iOS 11.1.2 without the need of a jailbreak. So thanks to Ian Beer's kernel exploit and the developers injecting these applications like Fauza with this exploit, we're able to do things we've pretty much never been able to do before without a jailbreak. So once again, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the boot logo on any 64-bit device running iOS 11.1.2 and below. Now before we get any further into this video, I just wanna stress that I'm not responsible for anything you may mess up on your device. I'm simply showing you guys the possibility don't go off modifying other system files and things like that if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your device into your computer and you want to download the Fauza Escaped IPA and install it through Cydia Impactor. So I will have the link to Fauza Escape down in the description below. All you want to do is take the IPA, drag it over Cydia Impactor, insert in your Apple ID and password, and then it should show up on your device on the springboard right there. Then you want to go ahead and open it up. And from here, you just want to go all the way back to the very beginning until you just see the slash right there. So just the very beginning right here. Then you want to navigate to system, library. We're going to sort by name and go to private framework. So go down to the P's. You see private frameworks right there. We're going to sort by name again. And then we're going to look for progress UI dot framework. So scroll all the way down to the P's. And then you can see right there, we have progress UI dot framework. Go ahead and click on that. And you can see we have my modified version in here of the boot logo. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna see two black icons in here, two PNG files. What you wanna do is either rename or completely remove those default black Apple logos. Now, before you do any kind of deleting or anything like that, you guys wanna make sure that you make a backup of the files and folders you're gonna be modifying before you do anything. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these images here just so I can show you guys exactly how it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash these right here. Here. Okay, so now we have nothing in here right here. So we're gonna have no boot logo when we do reboot our device. All right, so now I want you guys to click on the other link down in the description below. Make sure it's opened up in Safari. You should have four images here. They look pretty much the same, but you will need all four to put inside the file system. So we're gonna start with number one here. You're gonna tap and hold. We're not gonna just save it and put it in there. We're gonna have to click on copy. It's not as easy as that. So go over here, click on the little clipboard down on the bottom left tap on paste and it should be pasted in there just like that. Now you see how it's like a bunch of letters right there and it doesn't have PNG and you don't see the preview right there. We need to change that. So go ahead and click on edit, tap on that and then tap rename. And we're gonna rename this to exactly what it says inside of Dropbox. So if we go here and just tap one time, you'll see at the bottom right there, it says Apple logo black at 2X iPhone.png. So we're gonna type that exactly as it is right there. So you can see just like that, go ahead and click on done. And now you should see the preview right there and it should say Apple logo black at 2X iPhone.png. That's just number one of four. So let's go ahead back to Safari, go on to the next image right here, tap and hold, copy, go back to Fauza, paste, edit, rename, Apple logo black at 3X this time, hit done. And then you should see the preview right there and just repeat this for the last two as well. And then by the end, you should have four PNG files in here. Now, if you want to use a different boot logo, you can just follow the same naming scheme. Just make sure you have at 2X and at 3X, both for black and for white backgrounds. All right, so now that we have the custom retro Apple icon boot logo in here and none of the default black ones right here, we can go ahead and reboot our device and check it out right away. So let's go ahead and turn our device off. Now we don't have a boot ROM exploit for iOS 11. So at first you're gonna see the normal icon. You're gonna see the default Apple icon because you can't change that. But in the end, you will see the custom icon, the retro icon. So you can see right here, we have the normal Apple icon and then it should flicker a little bit and then you should see the custom boot logo that you just chose and that you just entered in to Fauza. So there we go, you can see we have our custom retro Apple icon right here without a jailbreak on iOS 11. Again, this works for any 64-bit device running iOS 11.1.2 and below. So that's just a pretty cool little modification you could do here on your device, again, without a jailbreak. If you guys wanna know how I got these circular icons and everything like that, let me know down in the comment below. I will have a tutorial coming soon on that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That is how you change your boot logo. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. 